All right, what's up, gang? Uh, I'm gonna. This is the Duncan Alien board I was just working on the other day, and we repaired a trace back here where we weren't making a connection. And then um, what I when I stuck it in the machine, it was not working, so I needed to find a new transistor. Hang on one second. Let me hand this off. Okay, sorry about that. So. I replaced this, the trace now was making a connection, and so I was hoping that this transistor was good. Um, put it back in the game, and it didn't work. So um, I have a couple ideas. Um, I did something dumb. I'm going to show you what I did so you don't do the same thing, and uh, stick around. We'll figure that out. Okay, real quick, I just want to show the mistake I made the other day when I was testing the transistor. I've already filmed this, but somehow I made the video secret or hit it for myself on my phone somehow. It's backed up, but I can't re-download it because it's on my phone. So, uh, this is one of the transistors, or this is the type that I need. So, I threw it on a table here. I'm going to check for continuity again, like I've been doing like three or four videos on this stupid thing. I'd be glad to be done with this. So I got to check to test this thing just to make sure it's not shorted, right? I hit it and it's shorted. And I test the other legs here and it's shorted. And at home, you can probably see what I'm doing wrong. And I wasn't even thinking about it at the time. It's sitting on a metal table. So as soon as I touch the legs, everything is going to be going to have continuity because it's touching this metal table. So what I needed to do was throw it on my notebook and then test it and which I'll do this coming up in a second and show you for real. No short. So I just wanted to make note of that in case somebody else gets in this predicament. Just remember not to test anything on a metal surface or a metal desk like this. But uh, anyway, just wanted to get that out of the way and refilm that. Be right back. All right, it's another day. I'm back. Um, so I do have two more transistors. The uh, I pretty much bagged up the other two that I had the other day. Um, I couldn't find any. The, the two that I had the other day in this last clip that you guys saw um, actually came out of this board. And I realized that later. And I was worried that even though I tested them and there was no shorts, that they weren't going to be good. So I did find... I just happened to be working on another game. This is a, a ticket mech, and there happened to be two TIP-122 transistors that were on this thing. And uh, in the spec sheet, it says that they're usually for audio and video, which this doesn't use in the audio or video, and neither does the Duncan Alien. Like I said, it, this drives the uh, swinging target arm. So I, I also checked these <clears throat> with the meter. They come up the same way. They're not shorted. I checked them with the... Uh, this little guy, I have it apart right now because I had I did some re-soldering work on it because it kind of wasn't working. So I'll, let me go ahead and put one in here and I'll show you. Now, in the spec sheet, it says, let me see if you can see this on camera here. Okay. Zoom in. Okay. This HFE number, which says 47, all the transistors that I tested are reading probably right around 50 up to maybe like 60 65 uh in the spec sheets it says that that should be 1000 and i thought maybe that was a typo and so i checked other places online and and everywhere was saying 1000 so i don't know if these are just not bad i i don't i didn't do enough research really to to figure out what's going on with that maybe a little bit above my pay grade there but so i'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'll test both of them in that. I know that thing is not super accurate, but maybe it'll give me a little bit better idea which one's better. And then we'll try to put it in the board, and that's what I'm going to do right now. And like I said earlier, these, uh, let's see if I can get this. 
Okay, right here. These solder pads are, are pretty much shot. They're, the middle one and this one up here at the top have a little bit of the pad left. This one at the bottom has nothing left. That's why I have this jumper wire here. So I'm, I'm going to put it through and go ahead and, and solder it, but I may have to run jumper wires to all three. And that's just going to happen. I mean, even if I don't do it this time or need to do it this time, the next time I have to change one, I will because it's just getting super hot. I did find my heat sink that I'm going to use. And then I have the, the little plastic piece is in here. And I'll put that in between the transistor and the heat sink so that way, no, actually this side, that way it doesn't uh, short out on me. So I'm going to go ahead and put the best transistor I have in the board and then uh, put the heat sink on. And we'll come back after I do that and we'll check continuity and see if everything's working and then we'll throw it in the game again. Hopefully this time it'll work. All right, hang on. Okay, I got it soldered in now. I uh, I tried to put the heat sink on the back of this guy. You can see it's still got some compound on it. But I, I couldn't get the... Uh, there's a little plastic piece that goes in that hole, keep the screw from touching it. And it was way too big for that one. It must have been designed for a different one. And I couldn't keep the screw from touching that thing, shorten out. So we're going to go without it this time. Let's go ahead and check our work. Let me get somewhere where you can see the meter. I had this problem the other day too. There, that'll work. Okay, so we have our jumper wire on this one. Need a little better view. Maybe like this. that so i got the jumper wire going there that was the really bad solder pad that was gone and the, the trace was lifted off of there the other two had enough of a solder pad that when i put solder on there uh, i think it's fine uh, there wasn't a ton but there was enough and i see oops sorry i got my micro or magnifying glass out and check that out and none of the solder for each leg is touching but let's go ahead and, and check that anyway Try these two outsides. Uh, am I on the right thing? Okay. Oh, probably because it's measuring apart. But we shouldn't have continuity. Try these two. Oh, it looks like it's touching somehow. So it's a good thing when I check this. Maybe I was just touching my leads together. <laughs> I was wondering. I didn't think I did that bad of work. Okay, so 625, that's not a zero, so that's good. And let's try the uh, one where we have the jumper on it. And this one should obviously be fine as long as it's soldered together. Takes it straight down to zero. And see if I'm on camera here. Okay, this middle one here comes all the way back to this little point. It's hard to keep it on that little guy there. Okay. And we get a zero on this last leg here. Okay. So the soldering work is good. Now the only hope is that that part was good. It came off, like I was telling you, it came off of this... Uh, ticket mech and it was working when I, when I pulled it so I pulled a bunch of them so I, I gotta remember to go ahead and pull all those transistors off whether they uh, all work or not we will find out one way or another and let's see if there's really anything visually wrong in this area here by it Okay, so this is the transistor here. And like I said, you don't want to put it back down on the board. I've seen pictures where it's actually burned a hole all the way through the PCB. And you can see all the different traces that are around it. So that would be a big no-no. But let's see. If, okay, make sure it's kind of focused in. Looks like all the little uh, resistors are okay. There's a couple more transistors over here. It's a cap up there. It all kind of visually looks okay. So... Next step is we're going to throw it in the game and cross my fingers 
that it works and we can move on to the next repair. I got so many other things I got to do. And I've been stuck on laser tag all day long trying to get it going over the phone. Okay, so I'm going to throw this in and then we'll uh, we'll film the startup and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, let's get this board installed. I really hope this fixes it. I've been messing with this for too long. But I didn't want to wait the three weeks or whatever it's going to take to get these transistors in from China. So, I'm going to hope it does, it does the job. It's used, but it, like I said, it was working. Uh, I've got to take these things off too. So when I kick this thing on, it counts up zero to nine. And then I think it, at the end of the nines, uh, it should start swinging the arm. So we'll know pretty quickly if this fixed the job or not. Like I said, we've got continuity in between all the traces to the legs. And that, that transistor tested the same as the other three, basically, within you know just a, a slight variance. So if this one works, then I know that those are probably good as well. I tested it three different ways. Like I said, I only one way I, I usually do. The other ways are, I wouldn't say necessarily above my pay grade. It's just not something I do as often. Okay, so... Fingers crossed. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I didn't fix it again. So it looks like those, those three transistors are bad. So I just wasted my time again. All right, I'm not gonna film this next time until it actually works. See you next time. All right, real quick before we go, uh, I just want to say that this is like the third time I've tried to fix that board. Problem is, is the game is down, and I just mentioned um, it could be three weeks, two weeks. I mean, we might actually get them next week, but the game is down, and the owners don't like when the games are down because they don't make any money. 
So I'm trying it, just any little thing I can to try to get it up and going. Um, I don't know everything about everything. Um, so what I'm kind of thinking is, is it, it's possible that there could be some other part on the board that's going bad and, the, and those transistors are okay, or, or they all could be bad. And I won't, I, I won't know be, because, uh, you know, I'm going through these spec sheets and, and I'm looking at what they're saying and none of it's matching up and none of the parts are working. So it could be right or I'm, I'm misinterpreting it. So if, if I do revisit this, it'll be either to show you, yes, that it's working in, in one of the little arcade repair vlogs, or maybe I'll do a, a video where we actually test the transistor and I'll have to go through and actually learn exactly the proper way. To, and I, that's why I don't I put this kind of stuff on video. If I don't feel confident in telling you guys how to do something, I'm not going to show it in the video. I'll kind of do it on the side and then, and then bring it into the video and let you know what happened. Um, this is one thing where I'm going to have to do because I'm doing a lot more board repair. I have the HACO now, which makes it a whole lot easier to get some of these parts out of these boards. Before I was just doing cap kits and, and, you know, I changed transistors quite a bit on monitors and stuff like that. But, um, anyway, I want to go ahead and learn and, uh, I'll go ahead and show you what I've learned and we'll go through it that way. Um, I also will go through the schematics and see if there's any other parts I can test and check just in case there is something else on that board that's bad, which very well could be, I don't know. But I just wanted to be uh, honest with you and tell you what's going on. And sorry, I keep looking because there's a fly laying on my pizza. Um, well, this one will wrap it up and we will get back to tomorrow. And I showed you the other day, if you watched all the videos, this is the uh, SpongeBob board. Um, we have one that's in there and it's kind of flaky. So I want to go ahead and see if I can repair this and has, like I was telling you, it had a blown cap here and then a broken trace line here. Those are things that I can easily do. And so we'll see if we can get it and fix it that way and then put it in the game. And if it's nice and stable, then I'll yank that other one. Um, that company, it's Chicago coin or Chicago gaming. I can't remember one of the two. But uh, they don't have those boards brand new in stock anymore. So what they do is they, they send them off to a guy and he repairs them and sends them back. So it, it took about six months to actually get one to come in. So if we can get an extra one and have it behind the scenes and, and in the office somewhere, that'll help out a lot. Uh, other than that, we'll see you on the next one. And I don't know what will be next after that. And I probably won't know. I'll probably come in and there's just going to be something crazy happening. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. What did you think about that video? Did you like that video? I loved it. Was I not in it? Well, did I love that? I better have been in that video. I hope you liked the video. It was definitely my best work. If I'm not in that video, you better watch this one over here. Oh, if you're not going to do that, just subscribe. You'll get a notification. Bye.